Welcome back to The War Cry with Drew and Noah. On this episode, we're going to talk about everything that's going to be happening this week. Here's this week's schedule. This week's clubs are FCCLA, Character Ed, and National Honor Society. Softball has their first region game Tuesday at 5.30 versus Temple. They have another game Wednesday at 6 versus Northgate, and Thursday at 5.30 versus Callaway. Be sure to come and support them. The 2018 defending state champs have their first game versus LaGrange at 7.30, so come out and support your Braves. There is a pep rally at Ephesus Elementary early in the morning celebrating our new season. Today we have the weather, meme review, and a new teacher spotlight. But first, let's go over to our reporter Mark Bowen with Coach Barron on our upcoming season. Mark. As I'm Mark and I'm here with Coach Barron, uh, we're just going to ask you a few questions today. Let's roll. What's your hopes for this year's football team? You know, with every team coming in, they're all so different. What you want them to just be as good as they can be. Um, you know, we return four or five starters on offense, four or five on defense, a lot of new faces. Um, you know, so we, we want to make sure that we as coaches get them to play up to their capability. Um, you know, but that plays itself out as the season goes on. Uh, how do you feel? Do you feel good about this year's season? I'm excited. They've been a joy to coach. You know, I mean, they're coming into a year we lost some some really talented players last year, so you had a lot of superstars. This year, we got some good, solid kids, and they've been fun to coach. Not a lot of attitudes, not a lot of prima donnas. It's just going to work, and uh, they've been a joy to coach throughout the summer. Okay. Uh, do you have any key players you want to recognize? Well, you know, um, you know, returning on defense, you got Trey Owens, who's an All-State guy. You got Jay Wright, who's an All-State kid. Um, you know, Ashton Bonner's returning with, with a lot of starting starting time. Makai Austin's returning. Um, so, you know, those guys were, were, were pretty significant, uh, had significant roles in last year's run. Offensively, you, you know, we've, we've returned a couple of linemen. We've got Drew Cornelius. We've got uh, Anthony Grayley uh, coming back. They, they've had some, you know, a lot of experience right there. Matt Brown's had a lot of experience. Um, obviously, placing the quarterback position. So, we got a battle going there. There's about three or four guys competing and battling. And, and in the backfield, you've got, uh, you know, Alex Boyd uh, had a really, really good offseason. He put on a lot of weight, a lot of good weight. Ashton Bonner's looked good in space out there. Um, you know, Keyshawn defensively and offensively. We're, we're going to have to ask a lot of him this year. Uh, he didn't have to play a lot of offense last year. Uh, so this year's going to be a challenge for him to, to be in the right shape where we can get a lot out of him. But, you know, he's a guy that was one of our better defensive players last year, and he's returning. But now he's got to play the fullback role, too. And he'll split some time over there with Jay Wright and some guys competing. But, you know, again, it, it's more about it's, it's a blue-collar group. It's going to take all of it on every snap. Uh, as far as receivers going, you know, I know I'm bouncing around. Uh, Cannon's a, a returning starter. He's looked good out there, especially the last, last few days. He's getting healthy. Um, he looks good. Uh, but there's a lot of guys. I'm sure I didn't mention – all that needed to be mentioned, but um, like I said, it's a blue collar group, and, and it's going to be how how well they work together. Okay. Um, so this is going to be a good season this year. Well, we hope so. You know, I mean, the big thing is we know there's going to be growing pains. We have a, a extremely hard non-region schedule, and uh, with a lot of new faces, you know, they're, they're getting thrown in the fire early. The biggest thing that we got to do is we got to be able to handle that adversity early. Don't panic if everything ain't always great, because we do feel like as a staff and as a team that. But if we'll stay together and continue to work and grind and trust the process, that at about mid-season we can be a really good football team. Well, we got one more question for you. Um, how do you feel about? Um, yeah. How do you feel about Hurricane football? You know, uh, Hurricane football—it's it, it, a brand. You know, I mean, when we talk about Hurricane football. We don't want people to think tough, physical, hard-nosed, blue-collar, get after you. It always may not be the most talented football team, but we, we want to be the team that always plays the hardest and is the most physical. Okay. Thanks for your time. Thank you, guys. Hi, I'm Jacob Cash with the weather. As you can see behind me, the weather will maintain scattered thunderstorms and maintain temperatures in the 80s with outliers being in the 70s to 90s. You may want an umbrella. Now to meme review with Michael. What's good, Her County? It's your boy Michael and your other boy Jacob back for one more semester of foolishness with our new segment, Meme Review. Every week we'll present you two or three memes, some of them actually fresh and relevant, and give our thoughts. Well, we're going to jump into it with the surreal spinoff, Enslaved. It's a, con um, it's a complex yet simple design which reminds you of something from Tim Burton's Nightmares. 
the main draw of the meme is the flexibility of it. Whether you're talking about a treadmill or a vending machine, you can really fit it into any, uh, anything. Now, the real problem with it, it really could be just oversaturation, but as long as you actually put some thought into it, it's a pretty good meme. And I'm gonna give it a 7.4 out of 10. Second on the list, we've got Disgusted Mordecai, a low quality image of Mordecai from regular show looking disgusted at something like everybody else only have to see my face on a daily basis. It's pretty versatile and you can use it in a lot of different ways, but like with his meme, it's oversaturated. Too many normies have used it for too many low quality memes. I'll have to give it just a 5 out of 10. Until it shows some more potential, I can't go any higher. That's about it for this week, unfortunately. We'll see you next time. Indeed. Hi, my name is Presley, and today I'm here with Miss Bradlin for the New Teacher Spotlight, where we learn more about our new teachers at Her County. So, Miss Bradlin, where are you from? Um, I am from Her County. I moved here when I was 10 years old, so I got to grow up in this community. Did you do anything extracurricular while you were a student here? Yes, so I played softball all four years of my high school career. Do you plan on helping with softball this year? I am. I'm currently helping with both the JV and varsity. So along with softball, Ms. Bradlin also teaches. So what grade do you teach and what do you teach? Um, I teach environmental science and anatomy to 11th and 12th graders. How are you adjusting to Hart County as a teacher? Um, it's great. So everybody's been very supportive. Um, if I ever need any help, um, people are always offering, offering their services. So, what are your expectations for your students this year? Um, I just want them to come in prepared to learn every day, just to give me their best effort. All right, thank you. This has been the new teacher update. Now back to you guys. Thanks, guys. In other news, there is a senior class meeting Tuesday at 7. All senior parents must attend. We have school pictures Tuesday, and Balfour will be here Wednesday from 4 to 7, and Thursday at lunchtime for class rings, letter jackets, and senior dues. Before we close, we have an interview with our new assistant principal, Mr. Wall. That's all for this week, Brave Nation. Tune in next Monday for all your news and reminders. And remember, with pride, go Braves. Hey, Hurt County High School. I'm uh, Mr. Wall. I'm glad to be here this year. It's a very special year for me. Uh, my first year at Hurt County Middle School, this year's senior class was in the eighth grade. So it'll be neat for me to see them graduate. I'm looking for great things out of everybody this year. We've got a great faculty and staff. We've got phenomenal students. And I know you're going to do well in the classroom, athletically, and in your extracurricular activities. I want you to know that I'm here for you, and I can to help you any way that I can. Just let me know.